is going to help us through this video. Hi, honey. Mama loves you. I know. In this video, we're going to talk about the difficult subject of guilt. When we grieve, we may feel that we have somehow failed in our obligation to our animal companion. We think that we should have taken action sooner, maybe, to get our animal to the veterinarian. Maybe we should have noticed the symptoms of a terminal illness earlier. Maybe we shouldn't have let our pet run free in the neighborhood. Oftentimes, when a loved one dies, we think, what if, or what could have we done differently to change the course of their fate? Guilt is a psychological phenomenon based on negative self-evaluation. It's a normal response when we feel as though we have failed at some duty or obligation. We feel that we failed at a level well within our competence. Scientific research concludes that guilt is a human emotion. When we care for an animal companion, we accept full responsibility for their entire life. Our pets are dependent on us for everything. And when a pet dies, we are often left feeling a sense of guilt because we are deprived. We have lost that responsibility or we believe those responsibilities were not carried out properly. More often than not, we cannot control the circumstances in which a pet dies or is lost. This is a memorial book for my Shih Tzu Shelby. Uh, she died two years ago of bladder cancer. She was unable to hold her urine. The tumor in her bladder had grown so big that it took up her entire bladder. The veterinarian told me that they couldn't operate. If they operated, it would kill her. Uh, and there was no hope because the tumor just was so large that she didn't have much time left before the tumor would burst and cause her bladder to burst. And that would, of course, kill her. So we had to make the difficult decision of euthanasia. Um, I purchased this blanket for her and my husband had made this wooden cross and I sewed it onto the blanket. Um, and we buried her here at home. She had been my companion for 14 years. I felt tremendous guilt over Shelby's advanced cancer diagnosis and subsequently her death because I felt like I should have noticed the early symptoms of bladder cancer even though the veterinarian assured me that in most cases early symptoms go unnoticed. Now Shelby being a Shih Tzu, like so many small breed dogs, she would have accidents even as a young dog. Uh, we just kept pee pads around because she would use them. But the guilt that I felt was tremendous. It really took me some time to work through it. Feeling guilty gives the illusion of control, but we have no control over death. Guilt is unfounded, no matter the circumstances. Dwelling on how we could have prevented or postponed or eased our pet's death only results in pain. Stop punishing yourself. You are a loving, caring individual who has suffered the devastating loss of a loved one. You deserve compassion, not punishment. You gave your pet the very best, a wonderful life full of love and care. Would your pet like to see you so saddened, guilty, and unable to go on in your life? Of course not. If you had died, wouldn't you want your pet to continue to have a good, fulfilling life? Well, of course you would. And don't you at least deserve the same? Show yourself compassion and continue to be the wonderful person that your pet loves so much. Cherish the loving memories of your physical life with your pet. You can make 
a memorial photo album or scrapbook like I did for my Shih Tzu Shelby. You have to realize that your pet's physical death has not ended your loving relationship. This is a transition from the physical world to the spiritual world. That's all that it is. The two of you are no longer in the same physical plane, but that does not mean that either of you has ceased to exist, nor does it mean that your love has died. Love is eternal. If you'd like to learn more about coping with the emotion of guilt, please purchase a copy of my book, Pet Loss, A Spiritual Guide. Take care of yourself, and God bless.